they're obviously a really good team. Um, and they showed it because uh, I think we punched them in the mouth early in the first half. And that momentum shift in those last few minutes of the first half, uh, they went in the locker room and they came back out with a vengeance. So, um, you know, it, this is a learning lesson for ourselves. Um, we've had three losses and they've been very, very close. Uh, so to actually get punched like this, a lot of things that we can build off of. but. You know, this is a really good team. Obviously, it's a really good team. Um, second leading team in the nation when it comes to scoring. And they showed that in the second half. And I thought we were doing an outstanding job early, um, stopping a lot of their, uh, taking care of our assignments and stuff. And, you know, coming the second half is just uh, with that momentum shift, they just started pushing it, pushing it. And we couldn't recover from our, mis our mistakes. You know, we, we held our head down a lot and I, I think the points off of turnovers were in critical you know critical times and stuff so um like I say a lot to a lot to learn from grow off of but I told them uh coastal Georgia next week doesn't care how bad we feel after this loss and so we um you know we got to bounce back tomorrow and be ready Monday to prepare for them you know we we break down certain plays for guys it's really tendencies when it comes to this team you know knowing uh the things that they do the most and stuff but when they have threats like they do like those are the things that we've been bragging about ourselves we've had multiple guys in double digits now we face another team that's able to do it and at a higher clip uh you know they have like you said multiple guys that have had 20 point nights and those are things that we stress and you never know who's going to shine for them um, and this evening, I mean, Montecourt did a great job stretching the court, um, and he started to steal some of that momentum because we were fighting, fighting, and then in the last under 10 seconds, maybe, <laughs> he comes with a long-range three and stuff. So um, very good team, very good team. I told you this league is going to be really good. So like I say, we can't hold our heads down. Um, you know, it's any any given night, any team could beat anyone. So we just got to keep fighting. and hopefully get this uh, opportunity again. You know, this kid is getting better and better. And it's pretty exciting as a coach because he's so coachable. And I love that about him. And, you know, he's a he's a true freshman, but you don't get fresh, freshmen like this kid. You don't get freshmen that come in and want to work, that want to listen, um, want to learn, and just trust the process. And that's what we have in him. And he we were you know he took he put us on his shoulders today and to have that in a true freshman nowadays nowadays you play against guys who've been in college five six years and stuff this guy was in high school last year so I love that about him and like I say there are a lot of things that we can learn from and grow from and stuff and you know they they had a great assignment on him and still he managed to get the points but they also forced him to get some turnovers um, mentally they forced him to get a double technical foul so those are things that you know those freshmen. Freshman mistakes come in sometimes, but I, I assure you, you know, he's going to learn from these things and he's going to be even better uh, come next game. I obviously don't want to say too much, but yes, we do have two transfers that came in and you got a chance to see what Nelson can do. I mean, this guy has practiced with us for a week. So um, obviously I, I would want him out there a little bit more because I think the combination between him and Vince would be very, very um, productive for us. Um, we do have another uh, transfer that hopefully within the next couple of games he gets on the court for us. Um, I think they could be the key to help us out with the depth. But, you know, we're really excited about them, really excited about them. Uh, I want to make sure I mention something about Vincent and his consistency. And this kid continues to give us double doubles, you know, and I don't want I don't want to not say anything because on a struggling night, this is a struggling night for him, by the way, and he's 15 to 15. You know, and you see their double teams, the box out assignments and stuff. I think the guys, the transfers that we're bringing in, will be able to clean up when it comes to rebounds that we're not getting. I think this is the first time, I don't know if it's the first time all season or at least in a while that we've been out rebounding. We have the best rebounder in the country. Um, and that's something that we missed in just, Justin Nicholson. As a guard, he averaged seven to eight rebounds a game. He was able to clean a lot of a lot of those things up. So, you know, hopefully these guys will come in and they'll help on the boards and we can eliminate, like tonight, 17 offensive rebounds. We can eliminate those second chance opportunities and uh, give ourselves a chance.